Shalom, shalom, family, and welcome back. This is Brother Maurice. We're going to continue where we left off, looking at the fullness of the gospel, of what Christ gave in the scriptures, in Matthew chapter 5, 6, and 7, because this is where Christ restored us back to the law, where he came and gave us the law that the Father gave to him to give to us. And if you have your Bible, follow along so you can see the differences in what they gave us in the Bible to what Christ actually gave us. Matthew chapter 6, starting at verse 9. And it says, And after this manner, therefore, pray ye always that ye be not led into temptation. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Bless us that we may know and do thy works. <clears throat> Excuse me. Do you hear that, that difference? This prayer says, bless us that we may know and do thy works. But what did they put in the scriptures? That it's not by works. But the thing is, they manipulated the scriptures to the point that we didn't understand or know what thy works are. <coughs> Excuse me. Bless us that we may know and do thy works, that thy kingdom may come among us, and that thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. In heaven, there are laws that must be followed. And these same laws are the laws that Christ gave to us that we should do down here. Because it says that thy kingdom may come among us and that thy will be done. That's us loving each other. That's what the Father's will is. That we all love each other and that we all may get along. That thy will be done on earth as it is done in heaven. Verse 11. We ask thee only to give us this day our daily bread that we may have strength to do thy works. So as we get this daily bread, as we get this word, it gives us the strength to do these commandments of love, loving our neighbor as ourselves, treating people the way that we want to be treated, not being angry with the people, not hating people, not killing each other, not gossiping about each other, not violating the free will or free agents, agency that the people have. Give us the strength that we may do this. And it says, and forgive us our trespass against thy will. Only as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. So as people trespass against us, it's saying that the Father forgives us for our trespass only as we forgive others. This is why it's important, family, that we forgive each other. Verse 13. Suffer us not to be led into temptation, but deliver us from the evil of this world and the works that we do therein. Did you hear? Here's this word works again. Because the majority of the world, their works are evil. Let me read this again. And suffer us not to be led into temptation, but deliver us from the evil of this world and the works that we do therein. And help us always to do thy will and keep thy commandments. Do you see that? And help us always to do thy will and keep thy commandments. For thine is the kingdom 
and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. So now, our works are our works of love. How we treat each other, family. Now let's take a look at the Third Testament, chapter 55, verse number 23. It says, until now, it has not been human love that has prevailed in the world. It has been, as it had been from the beginning of mankind, the violence that rules and conquers. He who has loved is inferior as a victim of wickedness. This is why people don't want to hear about love. They don't, want to, they don't want to love each other. Let's continue. Evil has extended its kingdom. This is verse 24. Evil has extended its kingdom and has become strong on earth. But just in this time, I come to oppose those powers with my weapons. Did you hear that? Now listen, because we have to understand the weapons that Christ is going to use. So that the kingdom of love and justice may be established among men. Before that, I will fight for to give you the peace of my spirit. It is necessary that I wage war and remove every evil. And this evil is going to be removed with love. Verse 26, men will come to the end of their own way and will return on the same. Men are going to come to the end of their own way and come on the way of love, what Christ is going to restore us to. Reaping the fruits of all that they have sowed, the only way through which repentance will arise in the hearts. Once people's conscience are restored and they realize their wickedness and their evil, then they will repent and return back to the way which repentance will arise in their hearts. For he who does not recognize his transgressions cannot do anything to make amends for his own faults. So what's going to take place as Christ and the angels go throughout the earth, the conscience of the people are going to be restored. And it's going to cause the people to begin to repent. I was online a couple days ago and I was watching someone's live, a young lady, and she was talking about the conscience as she went through scriptures. And I applaud her because it's very important that we learn to listen to our conscience. Because if you seared your conscience, you'll never hear from the Holy Spirit. Because the, the Father, when he created us, he created us with a conscience. And with this conscience, we can decipher good from evil. Because this was placed into us when we were created as spirits before we even came here to this world. But that's a lesson for another day. I just wanted you to get and see the true, the true Lord's Prayer and understand it. Well, family, I love you. And I pray you're able to receive this. And I look forward to talking to you in the next video. Shalom, shalom family, love you.